Okay, here is our uh, two sheep -a doodles Jenga and Twister. They were born on the 12th of May, day after Mother's Day. Uh, of course, they had three siblings, and the story about our loss, our tragic loss of their three siblings, is on our website if you would like any information, any additional information. Our website is www.lawpadoodle, that's L A W P D O O D L E K, as in the letter K, 9, as in the number 9, manor, M A N O R, okay, dot com. Um, the more white one is Jenga, of course. She is as ornery as they come and uh, full of all kinds of energy. And there's mom. That's Miss Jessie. Yeah. So, since both uh, Jessie and Muffy have only had two puppies in their litter uh, to care for, and Muffy, she thinks all the rest of the puppies in the nursery are hers when she sees them. So we're going to let them have uh, litters on their next heat. And um, they're both in excellent condition. Yes, you are. Excellent condition. Um, and Mom messed up the papers, didn't you? I threw some toys in here for the puppies to play with. And, oh, you went and got an extra one, two extra ones. You thought since I gave them three that they needed more, huh? Why don't you just go empty the toy box? Watch her. She's going to, I know, she just went that direction. You watch. Mom's going to come back with another toy. She thinks that the puppy should have... Look, 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 look. Here she comes. Look at this, guy. Mommy's bringing you some toys, except that's one she can de-stuff. <laughs> look at you, Jesse. You nut. You nut. Yeah, you get your puppies all riled up. That is Twister. Oh, come on, camera. Twister, of course, has already been spoken for. There we go. A little bit more focus. He is marked very, very similar to my beautiful, beautiful... Um, Daisy. Daisy's going to get her first groom this coming Thursday. She's out of our Blazy and Yogi, who we think uh, may be having another litter here sometime in August. I think I have them, yeah, sometime between July, July and August. Uh, one of them, I think it was Blazy, had a very, very long heat cycle uh, from the start of her heat. We're not sure that, she, I think that she was bred three weeks after her heat started. So we'll just have to wait and see, and we will watch. Unfortunately, as with Yogi, typical, uh, we think he breeds at night. When we put them in at night, we do keep them together. And so oftentimes we don't see a witness breeding with him, even though we have full view of them all day long. But uh, that was the day, I think my husband said it was the 13th. Um, and I watched them also that day, and there was no question. There was a lot of interest between the two of them. So we're thinking around that time was when Blazy was bred. And that will be a repeat breeding. She had a beautiful litter in January, so it'll be eight months later that she will be having her next litter. Almost eight months later, I think. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick overview of these puppies for uh, Twister's mommy. And Jenga will likely be chosen here in the next couple of days as well. And then, of course, we have our ten puppies out of Gracie's litter, two of which have been spoken for. All our boys are gone. Our girls were stingy with boys this time. And uh, so we have eight girls remaining unclaimed. I was gone for three days, and I do appreciate everybody's patience. It was something that I could not avoid in timing, and therein um, we're a couple days late behind on our updates. And uh, But I am doing my best to get updates for you, still photos as well as videos, okay? So once again, this is Law Padoodle Kennel. We are located in West Virginia, two hours south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, we are four hours west of Baltimore, Washington. And two hours north of Charleston, West Virginia. And if you would like more information on our upcoming litters with Blazy and hopefully Nikki, good signs on Nikki. Nikki, of course, was born and raised here. She is out of our um, sire Boaz, who sired Gracie's litter. And uh, so Nikki, she, she was, he was bred to a standard poodle um, a couple years ago, and that is where our Nikki is from. Actually, she'll be having her two-year birthday in August, I believe. And uh, she was born August 8th, I think, is what her birth date. I had two litters, one born August 3rd on my daughter's birthday and one born August 8th. And I believe Nikki's birthday is August 8th. And um, anyway, they will be, uh, oh, I could be wrong on that. That could be August 3rd. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Around that time, it'll be two, she'll be two years old in August. And uh, see, that is my Jenga. She's quite a little fireball. A little mouthy, too, aren't you? Sparking at her mama. So we do uh, have what we believe two litters coming and a possible litter with, uh, it will be her retirement litter, I believe, uh, with Naomi. Um, and that will be a litter of AKC Old English Sheepdogs. And we have had her with Gino. Gino seems to be following in the steps of Yogi, albeit that they're not related, but apparently male OESs like to keep their rendezvous secret. So uh, we did not have a witness breeding, but of course we know Naomi is proven. Um, and so we'll see, but uh, that should hopefully be a beautiful litter of Old English Sheepdogs for us. And uh, we hope to keep one of the females out of that litter. So if you're interested in Aki say Old English Sheepdog, you can get in touch with us about that. That litter I think might be due around the same time as Nikki's litter. So we're looking at July, August deliveries for those three litters. And that's all we've got right now. Nobody else in need at the moment, but as soon as we do, especially for our sheep -a doodle mommies, uh, we will be announcing it on our website and go from there. And of course, um, those of us familiar, those of you familiar with our website know that we do have a waiting list. Um, people that are on our waiting list have decided they want puppies from us and are willing to wait until their puppy is available. And sometimes they will bypass their opportunity when we go down the list chronologically. Um, they're in lifting those further uh, down up a little bit higher and sometimes getting a puppy sooner than expected So you never know but if you wish to join our family certainly get in touch with us our email is lpdk10608 at gmail.com and uh, Our website once again is uh, www.lopdoodlecaninemanor.com And uh, we look forward to hearing from you Thank you very much for viewing our puppies and may God bless you.